G'day YouTubers and welcome back to episode 2 here in Nuclearis, the nuclear plant facility simulating game that has been really fun over the last few months, really popular as well. First things first, we need to bring up our reactivity as I'm sure we'll need to get out more power to the grid ASAP because if we drop below 90% then it's not going to be good for any objectives. So let's go ahead and get some of this boric acid filtered out of our system and let's get this down to about five or so and i'm going to get the speed on the fast as it possibly can because i want it to be two o'clock in the morning as soon as possible so we can get that second loop installed and start upgrading it with all the money that we will have earned by that point hopefully get that all done so that should be good about there i think i'll turn that off and i'm gonna start bringing up the power so let's go 55 I think might be pretty good and I'll start this one by getting it up by about two or so like that Just so it doesn't drop so fast. Yep. Let's get it up just a little bit more to about 60 That should be good Kind of raising a little bit too much. It'll start leveling out a bit more We have definitely increased the amount of power We are generating and we are burning a little bit of excess in our resistor, which is absolutely fantastic So that should probably hopefully last us throughout the rest of the day without having to actually increase it anymore. But what's our reactivity staying at? 10.4. Might be a little bit too much for what I want, but it should be more than enough time for us to run around the plant and actually get a little bit of free money. So let's get AO all turned on and get him to put his overpowered mode on and turn on. Get him to do that maintenance analysis around the plant and just see how the repair values and wear and integrity is on everything around the plant. So he'll come back with a maintenance report on that one very shortly. The door was already open for us nicely. 5600 just for walking into one of the rooms. Excellent. And some service compliance for that hour. First hour all done with our service compliance. Absolutely fantastic. That should be good. That's all topped up. And what I might do, since we've got that RNG failures and the weather consequences, let's get the electrode... Uh, sorry, the electrode box there and the welder to fix up any pipes and the repairing pliers to fix up any of those uh, bad cables. Might as well get that rod controller in case it breaks and we can just empty it out without having to come upstairs. Funny enough, they're all spawning on the floor again, but that's alright. We can just get them all in our backpack. Just spam the mouse. Get all those in there. That should be good. There's more on the floor over here, which I guess... It's a lot better in performance of the game when things aren't on the floor like that as when they're on the shelf it just performs and just runs a lot more smoother with the calculations in the background. So now we've got that out of the way. Our objectives is to go into two more different rooms. We've got the generator turbine and the reactor core. The, um, the transformer slash resistor room you don't really get any bonuses for it. And the three times speed and watching AO do his job is always the funniest thing to do. Now going all over the shop. So yeah, there's that extra 5600. Uh, let's get this open and let's get that into automatic mode ASAP so I don't have to keep pushing that button all the time. And while I'm over here, I'm going to open up this valve right here for the water reserve. We've got our sodium hydroxide reserve to like increase the ion cleaning capacity of the boric acid filter, aka the ion cleon ion cleaning filter or the ion column that's the one this is what we've got for all our deliveries when we need to get more sodium hydroxide and more boric acid really keen for when this works as the um i have reverted the patch of the game as the recent update has broken chemicals entirely so this is the patch i'm on right now at the bottom of the screen right there as it just seems to be the most up-to-date and working with the chemicals as the most recent is just completely broken etc so let's get those two open and now when i go inside here and turn this internal pump on this one right here it should actually start filling up this water reserve number just like that nice and easy it should fill up the external percentage and that internal one so it's filling up the yellow tank this one right here it's also filling up the internal and external tanks over here. So we've got the external tank, which we might as well have full as all the all the time, have it full all the time, 
and it's also filling up this internal reservoir which we will need to purge it just a little bit because that's where our internal loop drains to so if this is full you can't drain your internal core loop so just keep that in mind so we'll just keep that going for a little bit we're in three times speed so it shouldn't be too long for this to actually finish out and that should be all good it should give us enough time to actually run over and get that extra 5600 points from the generator turbine room and i can show you if you're expected to be outputting power to the grid and your synchroscope isn't showing 22,000 as it should do it's probably because you've messed around with this bypass over here which i'll show you how to get fixed up nice and quick so if that 22,000 isn't showing up and it should be it's because this bypass is not in the on position so make sure it is that's the complete final output from your facility out to the city's power grid so that's it right there and that's our resistor and there's ao just chilling with his um AO overpowered skin that I got for completing all three of those scenarios and all four of those achievements. One of them is actually hidden in um, AO's madness. A uh, little hint for you there. So that's all that there. Let's go back to the chems room very quickly as it's nearly the next hour, which should be perfect timing for when we go up to the RCR in case we need to get more output power and all that sorts of stuff. So let's turn that off. 100. 100, 100, excellent. So now I just need to go ahead and close these valves off so I don't have any mess ups in the future and I'm just resetting the system to what it should be and then I'll purge some of the water. Oop, that there. I'll purge some of the water out of that external reservoir, sorry, that internal reservoir, uh, just so it'll leave room in case we want to dump some water out of our internal loop of the core that's surrounding the reactor itself. So we'll just go and purge that out nice and quick. Let's just go get this one open. Excellent. So that's going to empty out the internal loop or the tank that's just there. So that's opening up that valve just there on the left hand side that there. Nice. So that should be absolutely perfectly fine. That internal reservoir should be dropping down, making room in case we need to dump some of this out. Our temperature is extremely high. Let's go ahead and get some boric acid kind of dumped in there ASAP to try and get that reactivity under control should drop down rather fast yes it did let's just stop that for now excellent 9.2 I might need to filter some of that out just very quickly just because I did that a little bit too much one two three I want that about 9.8 so now that then the temperature would drop there we go, 9.83-ish. That should be quite good. 9.93 at 375 degrees. That should be A-OK -okay in my books. And instead of reading this, we can actually just go ahead and go to maintenance tasks and get a much better readout on it all. So it's actually rather good and it doesn't show too much there anymore, actually. 100%, 3% wear on the primary, secondary, and the condenser circuit. So that's actually rather even and nice. 4% on the freight pump of the condenser load pump, that would be. Hazard suits, never use them. Generator turbine, 100%. Electric turbine, 100%. Generator, 100. 100, 198 on the pressurizer, that's okay. 100% on the resistor, fantastic. About 100% across the board. I am rather, rather happy with that, to be honest. And now is just a waiting game to get all of this installed and up and running practically so we should be producing more than enough power than what we need and we're just burning off an extra 1500 so we could actually kind of lower this down a bit but we should be or the city should be increasing their demand in power rather shortly as it gets close to around 8 p.m 9 p.m ish and then it should start dying back off again there we go. As I just missed it, it's past 1500 hours. So past three o'clock, it's already on its way and it should be delivered to us at 1800 and should all be installed by about one or two o'clock in the morning. So you've probably already seen it. So I'll see you at one, one or two o'clock in the morning. All right, so here we are. It's nearly two o'clock. Everything is absolutely nearly installed. We've got all our circulation pumps already in because they take two hours less than the steam generators. 
and the generator turbine which should be installed right about now at two o'clock they should be in I'm not sure why it uh is not showing up that they're not properly being installed at the moment that should be fixed ever so shortly once it clicks over to that two o'clock time they should all be installed and ready to go so we'll just wait for that to happen there we go finally absolutely fantastic just because i exited and then reloaded the save again uh in the meantime i did accidentally leave that cst purge valve which i then just had to go ahead and just fill it back up using that tank on the outside water's edge so now that that's full let's just turn them both off and that pump itself may need to be fixed hopefully or sometime in the near future Reactivity, all that sorts of stuff is really, really good because the power demand went down over the time of midnight and now it should be going up. But let's get this up and running nice and quickly so we can finish this all off and get it to be used when it needs to be, hopefully very shortly, when power demands it. So let's get all of these open. Here we go. And B5 and B6. Excellent, so now they should all start turning green. I'll just get them into the off position so they're not being used. They're already open. They don't need to be opened any further. Excellent, there we go. And there's that last one just there. Now they're all open, the water can actually flow through and they're all ready to go. I just need to actually acknowledge that alarm because yes, I know there's low volume in the generator too. So we need to fix that right now by going and turning them on. And then we'll get it up to about 50 in the 2x speed, which will or should start filling this one up and start pulling some water out of our condenser to get this up nice and fast. We want this to be about 3150. So I'll turn this off when it gets to about 2500 and it should like power down over time so i might even get that off there and that should power down over time and we'll just flick it on or off as we are in two times speed still 2700 let's get that on just a little bit more just to fill it up a little bit more to 3200 we'll turn it off again even 3150 i'd be very happy with a no, little bit more and turn that back off and that's exactly how that is done perfect that is and ready to go on loop two next thing we need to get things a little upgraded i wouldn't bother about increasing the power on your pumps for the fact that it does nothing and you're just wasting money but you do really want to get a power increase on the next turbine itself so don't have enough level. What's that level eight? Oh no i don't think i'm able to do it just yet and there's no point getting a resistance increase on that steam generator because it won't be in operation for quite a while. I guess that is just about as much as we can do until we get level 8. So next time you see me, it'll be level 8 and we'll probably be on like day 3 or something like that. But as always, make sure you like, comment, subscribe, all that good jazz and stay sharp till next time. See ya!